The early days in the MMORPG market can be described with a couple words, but one word that comes to my early experiences are... Well, well, it's just plain weird. I played so many small titles that many of you have probably never heard of or thought about until my videos. Games like Haba Hotel, Eternal Lands, heck, maybe even Toontown, which is kind of a stretch since that is a bigger game. There is one game that I think about every now and then that I used to play late into the night with my friend in middle school. Nowadays, the game would probably get laughed at for how it looks, and compared to what games you can play so easily on your phones now, I can't necessarily blame you. I mean, just look at it. Oh. Whack. This game is known as Well of Souls, and for the few out there that actually know about this game, it's remembered very fondly. Looking at the website in 2020, it's like going through a time machine. Everything about the site screams 90s internet culture with all of its JPEGs, wall of texts, and crude but funny art. I mean, look at that. What? Like, what is that? Well of Souls is credited as being one of the earliest examples of online gaming, some even calling it one of the first MMORPGs. However, I wouldn't really call it an MMORPG, but rather one of the first free online RPG engines that you could develop your own online game in. You see, Well of Souls was unique in the fact that while you could play the vanilla world called Evergreen, you could create your own world, which many did do. There was a variety of worlds to play with some really creative ones out there, like a fully playable Final Fantasy VII world and a Mega Man X world, which unfortunately at some point was lost to time. Well of Souls paved the way of online MMO gaming along with other early titles like Ultima Online and Meridian 59. Ultimately, they would pioneer what is known as the MMORPG. There is a great documentary video out there by Sober Dwarf that goes greatly into detail about this game's inception and into its creator Dan, otherwise known as Uncle Dan or Samson. It's an amazing video, you should really go check it out after this one. Anyways, to get back on topic, Well of Souls, the game engine, or community rather, is barren and has been as far as I can remember. The last update to the base engine was back in 2008, which at this point makes it almost 12 years since the project has had any sort of life, leaving it up to its creators who develop other worlds or essentially games within the engine to step in and try to keep the game alive, most recently being the world's end server. So with this video, I'd like to talk about what Well of Souls is and share some of my own experiences with it and discuss how it is now and relate it to my own experiences and then ask you the viewer the question, is Well of Souls dead or alive? Well of Souls' earliest update notes are dated on the website to be April 5th, 1998, with conception starting as early as 1995. When it was released, it was branded as an open early alpha build, indicating that it would have features added over time and be developed. Players within the game could fight monsters, buy equipment, level up, choose different classes, party with friends, create guilds, etc. Many things that would become staple in MMORPGs. Well of Souls, however, obviously had a unique, simple indie look compared to its upcoming competition, which is understandable since the game was essentially created by only Dan. Evergreen was packaged within the installer of Well of Souls and is technically what the game is. Evergreen had small features such as a loosely comical storyline, a rather small open world to explore, and was set as essentially a tutorial for those who may want to create their own worlds or play other ones with more advanced features. Dan created a small coding guide on the Synthetic Reality website to help those begin their own creations. Some of the notable worlds would be Judgment, Arianel, Castlevania, and World's End. Each different world played like a completely different game. Some would have more arcade type gameplay, others would have more notable features like class changing or advancements. However, a lot of them would be abandoned rather fast unfortunately, with creators springing up just as fast as they would abandon their projects. Most likely moving on to bigger and better things, using Well of Souls as a stepping stone to realize their true passions. Over the years as players came and went after release, Well of Souls would receive a slow but steady amount of updates to the program, eventually up until its current and last version, being version Alpha 97, released December 5th, 2008. Since the population was never overly surging, it was only a matter of time until competition would slowly whittle away at the player base of WOS. Gameplay in 
1995 was pretty innovative for its time, but not so much in 2020. WOS plays like a turn-based RPG, having attacks dealt by selecting either melee or spells indicated by the action bars. It was simple, but it did provide some depth to its gameplay, such as a pseudo-active time bar that filled up during combat that would provide more damage during attacks if you waited for the bar to fill rather than spam attacks. Weapon types and magic could also be leveled up using the participation point system. Leveling up weapons could provide you higher leveled weapons to use, or in certain cases, other classes' weapons. Magic was also learned through this system, as well as leveling up each magic type. Things like quests, events, map exploration, and dialogue trees were also possible within the game engine, and all highly customizable, providing an incredibly solid foundation for future improvement. Unfortunately, that seems to be where it was left since 2008. Plans for future improvement. Going to the forums for WOS, Dan is still around once in a while and has indicated that he has plans to bring WOS to Steam and a re-release to the game would hopefully bring a small revival to this piece of history. WOS has not had this release as of yet, and with Dan working on what seems to be a spiritual successor to WOS called Well of Souls Rune Runners, I'm not entirely sure if that release will ever see the light of day. I can't help but think that also the game fell to the wayside because of Dan's many projects, since truthfully, a lot of them never saw their potential. Rune Runners does seem to give a flicker of hope, and truthfully, there is a fair number of players still around that would love to come back, me included. Active development coming to a halt was just another reason for the player base leaving the game, but ultimately, it is the players that have yet to really come back. While talks of a revival is nice to think of, realistically, I'm not sure if anyone would. With an archive currently being collected for a lot of these older worlds, I'd like to see some of the old player base host servers of other worlds and encourage others to try them out. Currently, right now, there is the official Evergreen server and then one Realm of Terror server. If we as a community really want to make an effort here to get some of the life back into WOS, it's going to take more than just talk and actually some investment to get the player base back. Whether that means creating new worlds to enjoy, to fixing some of the older ones to be more finished. It's something that we as a community will have to start working towards. One of the biggest sins in the online gaming scape is that Wall of Souls has never seemed to have any sort of light shown upon it. Searching Wall of Souls on YouTube or even Google, you will see very little hits on the web. One of the points brought up by Sober Dwarf is that for some reason, Wall of Souls is never credited as being one of the very first online role-playing games to the internet? Is it because the game is completely free to play, with nothing to pay for, except a glorified donation to the creator in its golden soul system? Was it because the game never left the alpha build, potentially considering the game cancelled? Whatever it is, it's highly bizarre that almost no one has acknowledged the game's existence, and even back in the day, the game was very obscure to find. Almost conspiracy theory level, where one might even think that someone was trying to keep the game hush-hush. Personally, my time spent with Well of Souls was some of the best memories with video games. One of my best friends at the time used to play the game with me, and when he moved away, it was one of the best ways to still spend time with him, even though we no longer could actually hang out in the real world. I still look back on those memories very fondly, with some really quirky stories that I'm sure he also remembers. Judgment quickly became my most played server at the time, since it had the best storyline and most balanced gameplay. Evergreen was a nice beginning world to play with, but a lot of its gameplay aspects was never really fleshed out. Judgment was a server modeled after the Secret of Mana theme, with its creator's own storyline they created. One day, I'd like to experience a fully finished story to the one they created, but like many things that came from Well of Souls, I doubt it will ever fully be realized. But like many of the videos within my own series, I'd like to hold on to some hope that the community will come together, get a small amount of players banded, and start bringing life back into the game. Dan, if you ever watch this video, I'd like to say that you introduced me to the world of online gaming all of those years ago, and without your project and ideas, I'm not sure if this YouTube channel would even exist. Thank you to all the great memories, and hopefully future memories, your game has given me, and I really hope to see more from you in the future. Just like how you would always say thank you to all of us for playing when we logged out, I want to say thank you for creating Well of Souls. So now that we are at the end of this video, I'd like to ask you, the viewer, 
do you think Well of Souls is dead? I can give metrics on the population of the game. Unfortunately, anytime I logged in, no one was online except for maybe one or two people. So it's hard to argue that population wise, it's not barren, but I think in spirit, it has some life. As I stated earlier in the video, there is a community for this game. Comment down below if you used to be a part of this community. Have you ever played Well of Souls? What is your best memory with the game? Have you ever heard of Well of Souls? I respond to each and every comment, so let's start a discussion. And that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping for some of you out there who watch and really like old games, you will give Will of Souls a try. It really is an interesting piece of history. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also, if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. Like I said, I appreciate any comments left on the video for discussion, and I do respond to all of them. Next, I have social media links like Discord and Twitter in the description of the video. And finally, I'd like to give thanks to all my loyal supporters. You all are beautiful, beautiful people. That's all for this video everyone, and I will see you in the next one.